In simpler terms, Rudolf Steiner discusses complex changes in cycles of nature in his 1924 Agricultural Course Lectures. He explains that numerous harmful pests, such as bugs and weeds, reappear at regular intervals of years. For example, dandelion growth is promulgated by solar rays reflected off the moon. This year, the moon is closer to the earth than it has been in three quarters of a century. Many of us have noticed the large amount and size of the dandelions in our yards. Coincidence? In his lecture, Steiner discusses the travesty of vine plantations that were subjected to the ravages of grape louses in Austria and Central Europe during the 1880s. Experts were at a loss to find a remedy against the grape louse. In time, this infestation displaced many peasant vine tillers, reduced the output of grapes in the market, and led to the migration of numerous agricultural workers to the United States. Today, we have various products such as pesticides to treat such problems. However, the appearance of cicadas, misnamed as locusts, remains a costly threat to agriculture. These cicadas are the Magicicada genus of 13 and 17 year periodicals of Eastern North America. From an economic standpoint, not taking active defense against the cicadas reduces production, displaces agricultural workers, restricts market supply of foodstuffs, and raises prices. However, active defense adds to the cost of production and also raises food prices in the end. Food costs represent more than 10% of income from the average American family. History tells us that the locust plague of 1915 resulted in the price of potatoes increasing six-fold that year. The Great Eastern Brood of Cicadas that appeared in 2004 will appear along the East Coast, leading into the Midwest in 2021. Perhaps Nikolai Kondantriev was detecting these and similar agricultural fluctuations when he measured his 58-year economic cycle in the wave mentioned earlier. These agricultural cycles are important. We tend to ignore them because we have moved away from our agrarian roots in our rapid worldwide urbanization.